to, and back with us is Tex Mars, who really needs no introduction by this time. Tex's works are just extraordinary, and I hope you'll click on his name and go to his website and take a look at some of the amazing resources there for you right now. Hello, Tex. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and uh, ready to power through the holiday season, as they say. Of course, we call it the Christmas season here. How are you? Hey, Jeff. Doing great, and had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, came back. Uh, Texas is uh, sunny, still pretty, uh, and <laughs> and I'm raring to go on tonight's topic because it's one that's uh, important to to all of America. Really, it's uh, the direction where America is going to be headed uh, for the next uh, four years. Well, it's it, the the t- topic title is "Kosher Candidates Put Israel First. Not a surprise, but it's uh, it's really never been more blatant, never been more disgusting. And go ahead, my friend. Well, that is it. Kosher candidates approved by Israel uh, in advance. You know, we, we found out through the Haaretz, the uh, daily newspaper in Israel, mm-hmm. uh, that there is there is a committee uh, of sorts of uh, Jewish legislators and lobbyists that meet regularly in Washington, D.C., and give the stamp of approval to anyone, you know, either yay or nay, who wants to run for Congress, mm-hmm. uh, and and they control all the most important committees, and particularly the Democratic and Republican National Committees. And you won't get a cent from these people, uh, you know, unless you uh, have been sort of bedded out, as they call it nowadays, interviewed, you know, audition, whatever, uh, and you're uh, basically a, a Zionist uh, right. lackey. Right. Uh, or, or slave, whatever you want to call Unless it. Unless you and, grovel successfully, you get no <laughs> money, and you don't win, whatever winning is anymore. Yeah, these people remind me, you know, the old step and fetch it. Yeah, uh, that's a that good, black perfect. people complained about. Yeah. Who acted, who maybe were very intelligent people, but they acted like they were stupid because they, they thought the American people who went to see movies wanted to see uh, idiot uh, black people. Uh, so they all acted like idiots and and so forth. They even had white people, you know, who uh, put on black uh, sort of cork type stuff and made themselves into black. You know, Al Jolson, all of them, black who face. pretended to be like black men mm-hmm. and, and would sing songs, you know, Swanee and down on the old whatever <laughs> plantation. Well, these people are on the plantation. They're wearing blackface uh, mm-hmm. in that sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is no criticism of blacks. In fact, uh, it's really. Uh, Supporting uh, blacks and, and showing the shenanigans uh, that that really prejudiced people had, but when we see the people we have, you know, and I, and I was thinking over uh, right before the program the folks we have with Rick Perry. Uh, we start off with Obama, knowing that he is um, a Zionist uh, zealot uh, and has sold out America for the last three years to the Zionist, and and in fact, in the, on the cover of New York Magazine three weeks ago, they actually showed. Obama uh, wearing a Jewish Yarmulke, the skull cap, and a headline on the cover of New York Magazine said, uh, Barack Obama, America's first Jewish president. Well, you know, Jeff, that's something that you and I talked about oh, yeah. as soon as he was elected. Mm-hmm. And I did a whole video on it, but you, you knew about it, his uh, slavishness, uh, devotion, uh, slavish devotion to, uh, to Israel, while he pretended to throw a bone every once in a while, you know, to the Palestinians or to others. But, well, of, but co- now, it, of course it comes, Tex, as you know, and, and you folks hopefully will remember, he was uh, tutored, his, his first idol was Frank Marshall Davis, a communist, a Bolshevik. It's all the same thing. And so Obama's heritage is one of, of Zionist Bolshevism, and that's who he's loyal to. You, you couldn't be more correct. That, that is really a key here, because if all of these people, and we're talking about Michelle Bachman, Rick Perry, uh, Sarah Palin, if she were to jump in, Mitt R- Romney, Herman Cain, Newt Gingrich, uh, uh, all of, every one of these individuals, by being on the Zionist Jewish plantation, are showing actually their true devotion to Bolshevik communism. So now, now we're headed toward that direction. So w- we have to really look at what Michelle Bachman believes about Israel and Zionism, and per, perhaps a World War Three of sorts with us uh, or Israel or both of us colluding together, attacking uh, both Pakistan 
uh, and uh, which we've already done apparently, uh, and now uh, Iran uh, fast coming. But 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 I want to I want to say right away that these people, you're right when you talk about it. Whether it's Herman Cain, Sarah Palin, Michelle Bachman, uh, particularly Newt Gingrich, you know who was uh, with the Project for a New American Century. That was the one, one of the ones that pla- the lobbyist group for Israel that p- plotted out and planned the whole Middle East uh, misery that we're in now with the attack on Iraq and so forth, and the 9-11 event, I believe, as well. So th- this is the kind of people we have running for office now that, as you well put it, Jeff, grovel uh, to the Zionists, and they put Israel first over America. Now, if you don't believe that, maybe maybe we can can we start with oh, who do you want to start with, Newt Gingrich or Michelle Bachman? Or... Uh, whatever, they're all as equally as despicable. Here's what happened to Herman Cain: uh, the Jews decided that they needed a token black in the Republican race, so so Cain seemed like a good good enough guy to to run. Well, when they made him the by the way, the, he was the chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. He didn't you know. he, they, they, look. This is, guy is just a created. It's a placement, all right? They made him, they placed him, and they're using... He's just a device, that's all. Oh, sure, he was a token. 